What's up guys, this is Massey. Welcome to another video. In this video, I want to show you how to draw a loose structure for SeCl2, which is called selenium dichloride. So what we need to do, Se is the central atom here. So it's going to be in the middle and we have two chlorine on the other sides. So but the first thing we need to do, we need to find out total valence electrons, which in this case, selenium A has six electrons and chlorine has seven. We have two of them, so multiply by two, that's going to give me 20 electrons. Then I placed selenium in the middle and two chlorine on the sides. Then what I need to do, I need to place one pair of electrons between each adjacent pair of atoms. Every two of these dots represents a bonding pair that forms a single covalent bond. So what we need to do here, we put two electrons in the middle of these two atoms and then I place the lone pairs around the chlorine. Now we need to check that if chlorine follow octet rule. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8 for chlorine. So basically it means that it follows that and then we need to count the total available electrons. So we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 and 16. So it's going to be 20 minus 16 is going to be 4. The rest of it is going to be 4 electrons that we need to place it on selenium. And at the end, we need to place dash between the selenium and chlorine. So this is going to be my loose structure for selenium dichloride. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment if you have any questions. Thank you for watching and have a great day.